listen here. All right, as you know, I'm from Kansas City, Missouri. It's a middleweight meet down here, meet. Can't wait to get your thoughts on this one. And uh, it's two true meat slingers, I guess, going in on this one. Julian Marquez, aka the Cuban Missile Crisis, nine and three overall, three and two in the UFC, coming in off a recent loss, got absolutely slept by RoboCop, and that was in the first round, wasn't even close, and. It was uh, tough to watch because Julian had strung together a nice two-fight win streak, right? He took out Sam Alvey by finish. He finished your boy Maki Pitolo before that. And his only loss in the UFC prior to uh, RoboCop absolutely sleeping him was a split decision to Aliso De Chirico. So a lot of good stuff from Julian Marquez, at least as far as the record showcases. And he's taking on Duran Wynn, who is 7-3. Two and three in the UFC. We know this is a guy from Gilroy, California. He's DC's protege. He's 5'7", yet fights at 185, but should probably be a 45er. He's had a rough stretch recently, right? He got smoked by Phil Hawes, got finished in the second round, and he did pick up that win against Antonio Ahoyo, but that's one of the worst guys that was in the UFC and lost to GM3 and Darren the Dentist before that. So lost three or four for Duran Wynn. Take it on the Cuban Missile Crisis, who has won three of, or has won two of three. Is this a battle of the bums, or do you expect one of these guys to emerge and then maybe start picking up a nice couple win streak, maybe go on a nice little run, or is this the, basically the peak of both these guys? Who are you taking in uh, Duran Win versus Cuban? Definitely the peak for both these guys, but um, I think Julia Marquez makes light work of this. I mean, I'm going to be honest, you know, you were being a little too kind of DC's boy. He's actually 5'6", not 5'7", um, but he looks like he's 5'2", uh, and at 185 being 5'2", you just can't really compete. I mean, Marquez is small for that division, in my opinion, and he's 6'2". Like, he's going he's gonna to look massive versus Duran. So, ah, man, I don't know. This is such... Duran's going to have a very tough UFC career being 5'2 at 185. He needs to drop down about 90 pounds um, and fight at, like, you know, 115 uh, <laughs> to 145 in that area. And then he'll have some success. He's just too small. I just don't know how he'll ever uh, get a win versus some of these top-level, like, you know top 50 guys like Junior Marquez I would put it top 50 you know for that division um but yeah both these guys battle the bombs but I gotta take the Cuban Missile Crisis I like the energy he brings a lot of uh you know he's really pumped he's got a lot of energy he's a whirlwind and he should get the knockout if he gets a submission or a decision that will honestly surprise me I don't see this going the distance I'm gonna be looking at the under because I think one of these guys are getting knocked out either Julian destroys or he slips up like a dunce and gets somehow slept by the guy that's 5'2", and he has to jump in the air to punch him. So, Yeah, I mean, dude, I guess it would be tough for me to see Julian get slept by Duran Wynn, but if we look, if we remember, Duran Wynn did pick up a lot of finishes pre-UFC, right? He had that nice, basically his first four fights, he was finishing everyone, but those were over in LFA and Bellator, even in Conquer Fighting Championships, so tough to attach too, too much stock to those because... Throughout his UFC tenure, he's either been getting finished or if he does sneak out a win, it's usually by decision. So would be absolutely flabbergasted if Marquez gets slept by Duran win. But you never know. Maybe, like you said, one of those uh, Pettis style jump off the cage, YOLO swing for the fences punches that lands. Maybe that can sleep Cuban Missile Crisis, but we'll have to see for sure. Nonetheless, though, 92% is rolling with Cuban Missile. Only 8% is rolling with Duran Win. Julian Marcus is a minus 165 favorite to Duran Win plus 140. Are you at all surprised by the narrowness of those odds, or are you not shocked at all? Like I, I guess for me, I thought that Julian Marcus would be closer to like a three to one favorite against a guy like Duran Win. Is Julian Marcus just that bad? <laughs> You know, I, th I think he is that bad, but uh, I think the whole the whole logic behind the odds on why I could see why it's like this, and it's because yeah, I would have guessed if someone asked me yesterday, oh yeah, probably three to one, uh, you know, favorite. No, he's not even a two to one favorite. So these are pretty juicy odds in my opinion. I like this. I think Q Miss Crisis has the wrestling defense and um, the just all around skill set to take care of this guy. 
But the thing is, if Duran wins his 5-2, 185 body gets on top, it's going to be very hard to get you up. That's a that's a small, dense center of gravity. It's not widely distributed like, you know, a guy that's 6-2. Uh, you know, there's a lot of meat in the legs, but no, all of that is just nice and compact. So if he lays on you, it's going to feel like a 250-pounder. Um, so I could see where Julian could have a hard time. But I don't see this even going to the ground. I think Julian, he should have the skill set. He should get it done first round knockout. If he doesn't, maybe he should go to slap uh, power. I'm not too sure where his career goes after this if he does lose. Yeah, I buy that for sure. I mean, I think regardless of the outcome, it's slap FC for both of these guys down the line for sure. Uh, I mean, maybe it's straight to BKFC, but probably just a quick little pit stop at Slap FC first for sure. But I'm with you. I'm going to roll with the Cuban Missile Crisis. I like him to win by KO. I mean, if we remember that last fight against Phil Hawes for Duran win, and that was back in June of this year. So, I mean, only six, about six months ago. Phil Haas was absolutely just teeing off on Duran Wynn. Like, Duran Wynn, that fight probably could have ended 50 strikes prior to where it did end. And by the end of it, that was tough to watch. It was like, okay, can we can can someone throw in the towel or can somebody jump in and stop this thing? Because Duran Wynn was eating meat bomb after meat bomb. And I like to think that if Phil Haas was teeing off on Marquez like that, I th or if was teeing off on win like that, I think that Marquez is going to do the same thing because we saw that matchup, right? Julian Marquez versus Phil Haas, and Julian Marquez slept Phil Haas. So it's tough to you know, apply MMA math all the time, but I think that if uh, Haas gave him as much trouble as he did, then Marquez likely will as well. So I'm going to roll with Marquez. I'm going to uh, go with second round finish. I think it's probably actually going to look exactly like that Phil Haas contest where he eats way too many shots, somehow survives the first round, and then Cuban Missile just finishes him in the second. Any last thoughts, though? No, 100% agree. Uh, this should be a funny, fun fight, I guess. Uh, throw in the comments who you got. You taking Cuban Missile Crisis or win?